Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Capucine BB bag. I've had this bag since December 2017, that is almost coming to 5 years now. And honestly, it's held up so well. So if you want to learn more about the Capucine, my thoughts like pros and cons, and how I like to style this bag, then keep on watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ida. I make videos about luxury handbags, lifestyle vlogs, and basically anything in between. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I'd love for you to join me in this journey of mine. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my love for the Louis Vuitton Capucine BB bag. Way back in 2017, I had to dig up my WhatsApp conversation with my Louis Vuitton essay in Hong Kong. I guess I was looking for a mini bag. I originally wanted the Capucine Mini in a more muted tone. I remember back then, almost all of the Capucine Minis are super decked out, either in full exotics or in very well crystal embellished. And I was just looking for something a little bit more everyday, approachable, and not too dressy. So during the in-store Christmas event that year, I was kind of in the mood to buy something just because, you know, it is approaching Christmas, the end of the year, I was kind of in the whole treat yourself kind of mindset. My essay originally had the pochette Matisse in black on prompt leather put aside for me, but I wasn't really feeling that bag until I saw someone carrying the Louis Vuitton Capucine BB, and I just knew. This is the bag that I'll be bringing home that day. Just to give you guys a little bit more information about the Louis Vuitton Capucine, this model is introduced in 2013 and it is named after Louis Vuitton's very first store in Paris. And according to the website, the Capucine has then established itself as one of Maison's most sophisticated models and the perfect canvas for seasonal variations. The Louis Vuitton Capucine currently is available in a selection of sizes. They have a Capucine MM. I think they used to have a PM. This is the Capucine BB and they have a size down to this, which is the Capucine Mini. The Capucine BB measures 27 centimeters across, 18 centimeters in height, and 9 centimeters in depth. This version of the Capucine features a full grain Talion leather with a single Python handle, leather wrapped Louis Vuitton initials, silver hardware with jewel-like handle mounts with rivets on the rings of the handles that kind of symbolizes the iconic Louis Vuitton trunks, a monogram motif that is in one of the flaps, a full cowhide lining with a hot pink interior. So on the website, they also stated that this bag is of a dual style, meaning you can carry it as a so, or you can have the flap move forward. But I never understood why that would be a thing. It's not like they have a magnet to clip it on. It just kind of flops over. I mean, yes, you can wear it like so if you want to be a little bit more subtle, but I don't think this is the look that I'm going for. So I never wore it like that. I just feel it is a bit unfinished and look a little bit sloppy. Otherwise, the bag also comes with a adjustable and removable strap, which is one of the things that I don't like about this bag. Otherwise, it also has four feet at the bottom and a microfiber lined dust bag, which is slightly different to the other cloth dust bag that you normally get from Louis Vuitton. It also came with a little booklet and because there is a touch of exotic, besides the normal like material cards, it also came with a material card with a license number. And this is the product code. This model of the Capucine currently retails for £5,050, which was definitely not the price I paid five years ago. Over the years, I'd say the Capucine did enjoy a lot of special moments. Louis Vuitton came up with two seasons of the RT Capucine collection, where they invited artisans, designers to reimagine and reinvent the Capucine, which was super fun and unique if you're into like collecting art pieces and handbags. They also did major campaigns with Miranda Kerr, Emma Stone, and also published seasonal variations of the Capucine, like runway versions from the collab that they did with Fornacetti, Denim, Summer Collection, and so on. Considering this is kind of an impulse buy back then, I'm just going to say it. I love the Louis Vuitton Capucine BB bag. Besides the Hermes Hota bags or the Chanel Mini Square, this is one of the few bags that I'll actually consider getting in multiple sizes and different colors. 
I usually wear the capucine as a top handle. I love how structured and classy it is, but at the same time, not too serious given its trapezium shape and curved handle. I love that they included the four feet at the bottom and just ensures that the bag sits perfectly well at all times. The BB size is perfect for me. I am 155 centimeters tall, so it is not too big or not too small. It can also fit all of my daily essentials and more. On a day-to-day -day basis, I can definitely fit the following in my Louis Vuitton Capucine BB. A pair of sunglasses with its pouch, my phone, very important, a Chanel mini wallet, a Goya card holder, headphones, lip balm, hand sanitizers, tissue, all of the essentials of course, my Chanel face powder, and a Louis Vuitton pouch where I house my house keys, hair ties, medicines, all of that. I have never really tried on the size mini. I think it'll be interesting to find out what fits in the size mini. And if I were to get a size mini in the future, I think I'll definitely pick something a little bit more extra. I also love that it has a unexpected pink interiors. I currently have the Samorga bag insert inside and I chose a color that is relatively similar to the tone of pink inside the interior just because the interior is leather lined so you do want to avoid any like scratch marks from your keys or like ink spillage to protect the interiors of the bag another thing that i like about the samorga bag insert is it also comes with like extra pockets so you can further organize your stuff inside this bag so besides the different mod shots that i've showed previously of how you can wear this bag and how this bag suits like different occasions I also want to share with you guys some of my favorite ways of styling the bag itself. So here are some of the accessories that I love to pair with the capucine. I'm not really a person to dress all of my bags, but when it comes to the capucine for some reason, I just feel like it gives a different look and it is just very fun to style it. Besides the boring strap that the bag actually comes in, I've purchased this leather python strap. This have a similar python pattern with the handle and it also have a pink side so you can kind of like double wear it i usually like to have this pairing during winter because you know with your winter coats and stuff you can't always like wear it on the crook of your arm so it is always nice to have a strap put it across your shoulders or as a crossbody so you can just simply hook it onto the side and i just feel like this is so much better than the black strap that it comes in I just feel like it gives a little bit more character and if you don't want the python you can always have the baby pink exterior i actually bought this strap when i was purchasing the capucine i think without this strap i'll probably be less excited to buy this bag back then so yeah this is the first way that i like to carry my bag speaking of straps then you guys might be familiar with the hrh bag chain this is also one of the bags that I use my HRA chains with. I don't exactly remember the length of this strap, but you can always check out the website, which I'll link at the description bar below. But all you need to do is hook it up like so. Honestly though, it does feel a little bit more weighty just because this chain is of such quality. It is a very heavy chain, but I love just wearing it like that every day. I also like how if you need to be hands-free, you can always wear it over your shoulders like so. The chain itself is actually quite comfortable. So besides it being a little bit weighty, which I really don't mind. So this is like another accessory that really elevates the look of your capucine and gives more variations to the bag. Lastly, if you haven't tried before, I highly recommend trying pairing with your twillies with the Louis Vuitton Capucine. I'm normally not a fan of mixing brands, i.e. I won't put my Dior Twilly on Hermes Birkin. Like I always use like Hermes Twillies on Hermes Birkin or Kelly, but when it comes to Louis Vuitton, their Twillies are quite big and so I normally actually prefer the Hermes Twillies. So let me show you guys. I don't remember the last time I've paired with this pairing, but it is also one of my favorite. So this one here is of a beautiful blue Hermes Twilly. I'm going to put it on. I don't remember how to put it on, so. 
Right, it is not too bad. I'll definitely leave a little bit more less material on this side. However, you can really see how it changes up the look in my opinion. You know, pair with a summer white dress. I remember the reason why I started using the twillies on the handle is because it is my first time interacting with a python especially because i'm always going to carry as a top handle the oils of your hands or moisture might damage the python i'm not too familiar with working with python hands i've added in a twitty just to you know try it out and i really love the look of it so if you want to have a little bit more of a color a blue handle with a silver hardware really gives it a little bit more fun characteristics otherwise let me try on the black and white twillies so to show you guys how different in my opinion it looks so this is one of the hermes twillies i don't remember the name of it but it is of like a leopard and it has radiance of it it is one of my favorite designs from hermes thus far so let's put it on again, making a smaller end this time. Again, not the best. I just wish these two ends are of like equal portions, but you kind of get an idea. So this here will get it a little bit more darker look, if you will. I'm just going to remove the back chain so it is not as distractive if you're planning to protect your python handle you can definitely put a twilly over it and have more fun and explore different color tones so this is the one with the monochromatic hermes twilly i'm just going to do a last one with you guys this is a dior one i don't remember the name of these again christian dior on it and then stars i hate how like the tags are falling off but even though they are of a similar color palette I still think it is like a complete different look. So this is the one with the Hermes Twilly and this is how the Capucine look with the Dior Twilly. A little bit more starred pattern. I feel like kind of gives it a little bit more rock and roll character and pair with the HRH changes now. I feel like it is a completely different bag. I mean, it might not be well to everyone's style, but I kind of just like how sometimes if I feel like a little bit more fun, young, edgy, this is kind of the look that I can go for. And if I want a little bit more color, then I can always kind of play around with the bag. Hopefully this can give you some ideas of how versatile the Louis Vuitton Capucine is. These variations are also one of the reasons why I love this bag so much because I feel like it is not something that you can really have fun with with other similar bags like Trendy CC or the Hermes Birkin and Kelly. You know what I mean? You can really change up the characteristics of the bag, which I love. So just like how Louis Vuitton stated on their website, it is a perfect canvas for seasonal variations. So let's move on to the pros and cons of the bag. We can talk about the pros first. I mean, nothing speaks quality than the state of this bag after five years of usage. I don't really baby my bags, but I don't like throw my bag across the room either. So I do respect my bag, but honestly, I can say this bag is still in pristine condition. I mean, the piping of the bag is still perfect. I haven't really cleaned out this bag prior to filming. So I'm just gonna give you a close up of the hardware. There isn't any tarnish, the handle, Originally, I was quite hesitated when working with Python just because Python is like scales, right? So I was a bit worried that it will flick out. The handle just get actually like more smooth over time in my opinion. The corners are, would you say close to perfect? I mean, you can judge for yourself. This is a bag that is almost coming to five years of age now. If you really want to nitpick, you can see there might be some tarnishes like at the bottom of the feet just because that is where it will have direct contact with external environments so yeah given that it is towards the more pricey side of a louis vuitton bag it does not disappoint i do use this bag quite often so i'll give you guys a more macro shot of you know different bits of the bag so you can judge for yourself this full grain Talian leather is very hard wearing 
it doesn't really show any scratches so yeah quality is definitely something that showed over time not just you know from first impression but they have proved over the years that it has stand the test of time which is one of the reasons why i love this bag so much as well second thing i love about this bag is again the versatility i show you guys you know various ways to dress the bag but also you know pair this bag with casual outfits more formal outfits gonna go into dinner even with just like this casual cardigan at the crook of your arm dress it up with a strap it is very versatile compared to like your hermes burke and kelly or the trendy cc for example so versatility check another thing that i have you know observed over the years is the louis vuitton capucine is quite exclusive like if you bring this out to london in hong kong it is not a bag that someone else will carry at the same time i feel like a birkin and kelly in those contexts are quite common like you would see someone wearing a birkin if you're wearing a birkin but i haven't seen a lot of people really carrying the louis vuitton capucine i don't know i just like how it is not as saturated unlike the louis vuitton neverfull where you can easily see someone carrying this bag the louis vuitton capucine is definitely special on its own another thing i want to say is i don't really think this bag is heavy of course if you add like a chain handle then that's a different story that's going to be really heavy but i feel like this weight of the bag is quite substantial so i don't really think it is a heavy bag given its size and the amount of leather that it has now moving on to the cons i have three areas that i don't really care for when it comes to the capucine first one being the strap that it comes with the strap that it comes with in my opinion it's so underwhelming boring and i think in a way ages the back this strap is quite thin as you can see it has some adjustments which is appreciated but it just looks so old and dated in my opinion I would be perfectly fine if this bag didn't came with a strap i know that the mini size comes with a thicker strap so i have this strap here from my louis vuitton morel i just feel like with a thicker strap it kind of gives it a more edgier look but that's just my style and my opinion i would actually use this strap but it's quite nice so right here i've paired it with the strap that the morel comes in i just feel like it is more substantial and gives it a little bit more edgier vibes whereas the strap that it normally comes in it kind of gives me like office lady work vibes which no offense you know if that's something that you like you do you i don't want to offend anyone but i just feel quite strongly about the strap that it comes with second thing to pay attention to before purchasing the capucine is that it is a leather lined bag i went over it earlier i currently have the samorga bag insert which I can't recommend enough just because it gives a little bit more structure and protects the lining of the bag it also has extra pockets in case you need to slot in your card holders fits very well you can see that inside is of a cowhide leather lining so if there's any like keys you want to have a key pouch holding your keys so it doesn't scratch the interior of the bag you need to pay attention to like pen marks avoid perfume spillage all of those things when it comes to the inside of the bag so you'll probably need a bag insert for a leather like bag their closure mechanism is something that i don't really care for so as you can see they have a closure tag inside so meaning if i can show you this properly you technically can use this clasp to close it shut and then have the flap over it um i don't really understand the purpose of that nor do i ever close my bag with that little clasp right there i just think it really restricts your accessing your items inside your bag so i don't really understand the mechanism behind this closure but what i can recommend is if you're not going to close shut using those clasps you can actually treat these clasps as a d-ring so if you have any you know important items that you want to keep safe you can basically clasp your items inside this ring here i've never really used it just because 
I don't really have anything that's super important just because of all of the other compartments that are available. I don't know, but if you want something that's securely tied inside to your bag, that is something that you can use it for. But otherwise, I don't really feel like the closure of the bag is really that useful in my opinion. Anyways, you guys, I don't know how long I've rambled on in this video. I hope it is not too long. If you're ever considering the Louis Vuitton Capucine BB, just know that I highly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and are inspired by some of the ways that I like to dress my bag, if you will. If you guys have any additional questions regarding this bag or any bags on my collection, just let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I shall see you guys in my next one. Take care guys, bye!